Here's the latest. The DOJ suing Apple for alleged antitrust practices over its iPhone hardware and software. The company also expected to face a probe in Europe as part of another crackdown on big tech. The news putting pressure on the stock, down 11% year to date, underperforming the S&P and the Nasdaq. Joining us now, Bloomberg's Mark Gurman and Apple guru. Mark, let's get into this. What is the defense coming from Apple in the last 24 hours? I mean, the defense is essentially that the DOJ lawsuit is littered with, with nonsense. They make five central points, and, and three of the points they make against Apple are things that have either already been resolved or things that Apple said would be resolved. So there's a lot of confusion as to why the DOJ uh, is, is making allegations against Apple about issues that have already been uh, rectified or in the process of, of being rectified. The, the, the suit is filled with technical inaccuracy. Uh, inaccuracies related to things that Apple uh, may have done or, or is doing. And, you know, Apple believes that the DOJ is throwing as many items as it could gather against them, uh, but none of them prove that the company is a monopoly. Uh, none of them show that Apple is harming consumers. Uh, to me, what you see here is Apple harming some app developers and partners. Uh, the major two pieces that, that seem relevant are the inability to create third-party tap-to-pay payment applications in the U.S. Uh, and the way the company sort of throttles third-party smartwatches when they're paired with the iPhone. So I think this is not going to be a couple quarter type of situation. I think this is going to be a three, four year situation where ultimately you see the DOJ adjust their case and maybe narrow in on some specific items. You see a back and forth between uh, Apple and the Department of Justice. What you've seen in Europe in recent quarters where you've seen the Digital Markets Act and Apple making tweaks to the iPhone operating system to fit those new uh, requirements and make some changes there. I think you're going to see the same thing happen in the U.S. to some extent. Uh, I would imagine that Apple is going to pick items one by one and rectify what actually could be changed and sort of try to come to some sort of settlement here, whether this is a fine with the DOJ for past behavior uh, and then those tweaks to iOS, I think that's going to be able to get this over with, but it's going to take a few years. This sounds incremental, Mark. This doesn't count catastrophic. Does this justify some of the sort of existential fear that seemed to come through the market yesterday at a time when everything else was rallying? Uh, I don't agree with the stock sell-off uh, related to existential fear about uh, this DOJ case with Apple. I can make a far better case of why you should sell your Apple stock that has absolutely nothing uh, to do with these DOJ allegations. There are obviously AI features coming soon. Apple has done little to nothing to prove to the consumers and to the marketplace over the last decade plus why anyone should trust that these new AI features will be impressive or on par with what you've seen from competition. I think there are concerns about Apple's next major new hardware category. I think the cancellation of the self-driving car is a massive disappointment and underscores some serious innovation-related problems at the company. So fine, you, you can sell your stock. I just think you probably sold it for the wrong reasons. Mark, I'm glad you mentioned AI. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that Apple held preliminary talks with Baidu to put their AI generative um, technology on devices in China. We have uh, Tim Cook in China right now. Was that part of also potentially the defense when it comes to the US DOJ? Uh, yeah, I don't think the two have to do with each other. I, I reported last week that uh, Apple's artificial intelligence plans includes a combination of in-house AI, uh, which is not the more advanced generative AI that you're talking about. And then the other piece of it would be partnering with an outside AI company. Uh, we've held, they've held talks to license Gemini from Google. They've held talks to license ChatGPT from OpenAI. They've held talks with Anthropic. I reported all of that last week. Uh, and for China and for other markets, you probably need a more uh, uh, localized AI player. And that's why you see the conversations with Baidu. It's the same, whereas in the US and many other countries, you have Google uh, as the default search engine. But in China, you have Baidu. And, and that's because, obviously, Google is not operational in China. China is a big market for Apple. And if you want the generative AI features to work in China, you're going to need a local partner. And so that's why you see these conversations happen with Baidu. 
Mark, I'd love to finish on your latest article in Business Week. You and a couple of colleagues worked on this one. I just want to go to the third paragraph, first couple of lines of it. This year, the Magnificent Seven has looked more like the Magnificent Two, the Middling Two, and the Meh Three. Mark, <laughs> what's changed this year compared to 2023? Well, Apple in particular is under a, a lot of pressure. I, I would not put the DOJ specifically in that category. I would put regulation as a big category of its own. They have uh, suits in almost every country you can name off the top of your head, with the U.S. being at that top of the list, obviously the 27 uh, nations that make up the EU. You have Australia. Uh, you have countries uh, in, in Europe, not, in the, not within the European Commission. Uh, definitely, this car thing, I think, is a major, major disappointment. What is the legacy for Tim Cook to hang his hat on in terms of a major new product, uh, you know, when he eventually steps down? I mean, spatial computing, the Vision Pro headset is cool, but does that have the potential to be a $100 billion category like the car could have been? And again, like I said, Apple is the creator of Siri. They've had 10, 15 years. Who's to say their new AI is going to be great either?